what I'm working on today, we're going to be making leaves with the power hammer. And uh, what I did yesterday was go ahead and get the leaves ready. Uh, I went ahead and hammered my tip, I came back and did my stem. So all I've got to do today is make the leaf. Uh, I've already got to speed things up. I've got one in the Ford ready to go. And so we'll get things started here in just a second. Uh, when you're, of course, when you work with a power hammer or anything, your first heat to me is the most important. Get it good and hot the first time.
Right, I'm fixing to put the veins in the leaf. And when I'm teaching blacksmithing, I one thing I stress is consistency. Do everything the same way every time. If you've got a process you do and you like using a certain hammer in that process, then use that hammer every time and that way you, you know how it's gonna turn out beforehand. When you're putting veins in a leaf, you don't want to go and hit the same place twice. Chances are you're going to miss. So try to get it on the first lick. And that way if you have to come back, all you got to do is dress it up a little bit. All right. When I'm putting my veins down the side, I have found out that it works better for me to do them on the right side facing the leaf. And that way when I come back to do the left side, with me being right-handed, I can see it and it line, I, I can line them up. Perfect. Now we're going to reheat it and shape it. And normally when I'm doing this, I would use this particular tool to, to shape the leaf, but a lot of folks don't have that, so we're going to do it on the step of the handle. And the next step before we shape it, I like to clean it good. It's the last time you're going to get a chance to clean it with the leaf being flat. And I like to clean the back side first so when you flip it over, you're ready to go. Let's clean this. Better reheat. And remember too, when you're working on leaves, of course they're gonna be real thin and they're gonna cool off quicker. So make sure you get them hot enough when, when you get ready to work and uh, that way you won't damage the leaf when it cools off too much and you're still trying to hammer on it. When it gets thin, you, you've got to keep reheating it. If you start working with it cold, it's going to break. And you got to keep them hot. Of course, that ought to go without saying.
basically there's our finished leaf done on a power hammer and uh, just kind of speeds things up a little bit. And uh, anyway, I think I've got about 10 more to go. So I reckon that's it on the on the leaving power hammer video.